Right now at 6, tracking the coronavirus. There are 15 confirmed cases across the United States of America. This map from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention showed the seven states feeling that impact. Now, if the term coronavirus showed up on your medical chart, would you be panicking? Absolutely, most people would. But the coronavirus is actually a common term in medicine. And what if I told you, you might have it right now? Today, I talked with Mercy Health's chief clinical officer, trying to find clarity. There's a confusion over coronavirus because the name is already used commonly in medicine. In fact, you may have had it. As many of us have the common cold right now, and it probably is coronavirus. And that's the coronavirus that's been around for years. What you're seeing in China is a different version, but in the same class. It was just given a new name last week, COVID-19. That will help a little bit because I think as patients, you know, that they see their record and they see that they have coronavirus. Some local people have seen coronavirus on their records, gotten scared, and immediately called the doctor. A respiratory swab has shown they have a coronavirus, but it's not the same one as you're seeing in China. Ohio has no cases of the COVID-19. Dr. Kravick gives the same recommendation he would for the common cold or the flu. We should wash our hands. We should cover our cough. We should stay home when we're sick. And really, that's the best way to avoid um, either becoming sick or spreading what you have. There may be 70,000 patients worldwide with COVID-19, but only 15 so far in America. The flu is still out there. 26 million Americans will get it this season. 250,000 will need to be hospitalized. 14,000 will die. There's no comparison. Um, if there was a vaccine for the coronavirus, I bet you people would be lining up down the block. But there is a vaccine for flu, and many people don't receive it. Mercy Health wants people to have a better understanding of coronavirus. You should start seeing its public awareness campaign on television soon, explaining what you just heard, that coronavirus is a common term and the COVID-19 is not found in Ohio right now.